The Kanban style workflow board in AHA Develop lets you visualize all your team's work in a single view by status, so you can improve collaboration, track progress, and pinpoint bottlenecks and blockers. Today, I'm going to show you how to customize the workflow board to match your team's workflow, so you can get started planning and tracking work exactly the way you want. Let's get started. Here I am on the team board in the work section of AHA Develop. The workflow board is great for managing your work within a sprint or if you're using a continuous flow or pull system like Kanban. This is the default workflow for Epic's features and requirements. You can see it has three status columns here for not started, in progress, and done. Of course, your team may have more steps than this in your workflow, or you may use different terms. I know our team does, so I'm going to show you how I can customize this workflow to match the way my front-end team works. Now, we have five steps in our workflow, and we work in two-week sprints. So we actually use this not started column here for our sprint backlog. So I'm going to leave this column just the way it is. Now, for in progress, we actually call this step in development. So I'm just going to rename this column. I can do that by clicking on these three dots here and selecting edit status. You can also see this is where I could delete the status if I didn't need it in my workflow at all, but I do. So we're going to go with edit. I'm just going to change this to say in development. And I can also change the color here if I want. So let's try pink. All right, now we have two more steps in our workflow. So I'm gonna add those by clicking this add column button here. And first I'm gonna add code review. And next I'm gonna add a step for QA. Once I've created those columns, all I have to do is drag and drop them into the right spot in my workflow. And there we go. Now my workflow is looking good for my front end team. And of course, as our team starts working, we'll be able to continually update and edit this workflow as we optimize our processes. Now, we actually have more than one engineering team at our company, and in AHA Develop, each team has the flexibility to create and modify their own workflow. And you can also manage workflows at the account level. So let's say you're trying to drive consistency across all your engineering teams. You might create that main workflow and then set it as the default workflow for all of your teams in your account settings. You do that right here in account settings under statuses and workflows. And we'll just come over here to set defaults. That's where we'll have the option to select the default workflow that we want to use across teams for features, epics, and requirements. But in this case, it's just that our backend team wants to use the same workflow we just created for our front end team. And we can do that easily in our team settings. So I'll just head to team settings. I'm going to switch over to the backend team. I'm going to click configure. And this is where I can see all my options for defining the workflow that I'll use for features, epics, and requirements. I can see the workflow that's being used now, which is the default, and I can just change this to use the new workflow. You'll see I also have the option to map the current statuses to the new statuses. And once I have that the way I want it, I'll click update, confirm my decisions, and that's it. Now everyone can get a single comprehensive view of the team's work, workflow, and status. So it's easy to find opportunities to work together, improve your process, and stay aligned on progress and priorities. You can try it in AHA Develop today. And let us know if you have questions. Our team is here for you. You can email us at support at aha.io, and as always, we'll respond super fast. Mm -hmm.